Welcome to Witness Wednesday here on the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Duggan. However, each Wednesday, I will have a guest give their witness of how God is working in their lives. Hearing how God is working in other people's lives shows us how deeply He cares for each one of us individually. Listening to these experiences will help your faith grow. I am so blessed to be able to share these with you. Let's get started. Today, I want to witness about how God is working in my life. I don't have any big miracles to share with you today, and I think that's okay, because the whole point of Witness Wednesday is to show God working in our lives, in big ways and in small ways. I wanted to show how God is in the ordinary things in my life as much as He is in the extraordinary things. My dream for some time now is to be a speaker and to be part of a healing ministry. I've been doing personal development for several years now, and I've been motivated to change by so many speakers. And one day I decided I wanted to be that person on the stage motivating others. Except I don't want to be a personal development speaker. I want to become a speaker so I can tell everyone who will listen about God's love. I truly feel if people could learn that God is love, and know this down to their core, the world would be a better place. Knowing I wanted to be a professional speaker, I joined an organization called Toastmasters because they help you become a better speaker. If you haven't heard of Toastmasters, it's a group where you can give speeches and practice impromptu speaking each meeting. They also have an educational component to it that teaches you how to give a good speech and also teaches you how to do different types of speeches. It is a great program, and I really learned a lot. When I decided to be part of a healing ministry, I started reading all the books I could get my hands on about healing. I looked into several healing programs, where I could either go and take a course, or I could do it online. However, all of them seemed a bit expensive at the time, and also, my family was falling apart, and I needed to work on healing that, before adding anything else to my plate. My kids needed my attention, and a lot of it. It wasn't the right time. Then I heard about this new program called Encounter Ministries, but again, it wasn't the right time for it. It would have been online, and it would have been during a time when I had to drive to Boston pretty regularly. However, the next year it came to the Boston area for an in-person class, and things at home had improved a lot. I was able to sign up and take the course. During this course, we had a quarter on prophetic words. When doing the various activities during the prophetic quarter, there were several people who told me that there was a breakthrough coming in my near future, sometime in the first half of this year. I was excited because it confirmed what I had been hearing from God in my personal life as well. I was thinking that breakthrough was going to come in the form of me talking at the retreat I planned to attend. However, when I asked if they needed a speaker, they said they were all set. I was definitely disappointed as I felt that was what the Lord was calling me to do, but I trusted whatever his plan was, it would happen. I kept my eyes open for other chances to give talks. One day in February, the woman organizing the retreat said one of the speakers had to back out and asked if I was willing to talk. I was so grateful. I went to adoration to ask God what he wanted me to talk about, as the theme of the retreat was Christ in me. What does it mean for us as women to have Christ in us literally and spiritually in mass, and then take it out into the world? Well, in adoration, I felt the Lord tell me I needed to learn more about the Eucharist. So I did. It was beautiful how he led me to exactly what he wanted me to know and how he helped me put it together in a way that taught others about the Eucharist and what it meant to have Christ within us without boring them or giving them too much technical stuff. Everyone at the retreat loved the talk and they felt they learned from it. My friend Joan said it helped change the way she interacted at Mass that day. The retreat was a breakthrough because I can finally say I am a paid speaker, because I got paid to speak at that retreat. It was also a breakthrough 
because I got to tell all those who attended that I have a podcast and that I have a book. I put 20 of my books out on the table on the last day so that if anyone wanted to buy one, they could. I sold all 20 of them. There was one religious sister who bought one book for each of the other five sisters living in her house. It was so great to share my book with others, and hopefully they will enjoy it and then share it with others as well. Can you see how God was working in all of that? He was working in the details to guide me to a Toastmasters group, and he was working in the details to provide an in-person opportunity to learn more about healing and all the other gifts of the Holy Spirit. Through this class, I have grown so much. I have also met really incredible people who are all on this journey with me. It really is great to be surrounded by others who are working on developing the same things you are. We can support each other along the way, especially when the enemy comes in and tries to tell us lies. When this happens, we have each other to speak truth into that lie. This program has given me the courage to ask people if I can pray over them or ask people if they want me to pray with them. This was really helpful on the retreat I just attended. I was able to ask the main keynote speaker if she wanted me to pray over her before her talk. She then asked me to pray over her before her second talk as well. There was one point where we were doing discernment for who will be on the next board to run the Northeast region of MCCW. I was able to walk around the room and pray over everyone discerning the position. It was a really beautiful opportunity. God is so good to us. He guides us in the right direction, and He has perfect timing. It doesn't always feel like His timing is perfect when we're in it, but years later, we can usually see how His timing was actually perfect timing. I've done several witnesses lately about the amazing miracles God has done in my life, or the lives of others. I have heard others witness about profound times in their life where God has shown up. Today, I wanted to share with you some of the smaller ways, some of the behind the scene ways that God has shown up in my life. God may not be making any giant grand gestures in your life right now. That doesn't mean he's not there, and it doesn't mean he's not working. He is in every single detail of your life. We just need to look for him, and we will find him. We have all seen God working in our lives. However, we might not all be aware it is God who is working in our lives. This is why it's so important we start talking about it more. The more we share our experiences, the more people understand how God works and how much he truly loves us. If you would be willing to share any of your experiences of how God has worked in your life, please email me at katherine at findingtruenorthcoaching.com C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E at findingtruenorthcoaching.com or you can click on the link below. It won't take up much of your time and your story could be just the story someone needs to hear today. Please prayerfully consider sharing your story. Everyone has one and the world needs to hear them. I look forward to spending time with you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I will have another witness for you next Wednesday. Have a blessed day.